Sheraton Hawaii Bowl tomorrow on Christmas Eve. Notre Dame has a chance to end the longest bowl losing streak in college football history. The Irish have lost nine straight bowl games. They'll play Hawaii. The Warriors 5-2 and two at home this season. They've won their last three Hawaii Bowls. Okay, so Andre Ware will be a part of tomorrow's broadcast on ESPN. The Warriors present a problem for the Irish on defense where they'll play Katagan and Charlie Weiss will play most of this football game in their nickel package and you'll see players like Darius Fleming a freshman outside linebacker get a tremendous amount of playing time Harrison Smith will move inside and try to match up against the slot receivers of Hawaii. Hawaii if they're able to hold up against the Irish in the run department then that'll make for a successful game defensively give the Irish a chance to break that nine game losing streak that they have in terms of bowl game. All right, you can catch that game, of course, on ESPN tomorrow night. Andre Weir on the call. And, Jesse, uh, Charlie Weiss will be calling offensive plays for Notre Dame. Why should we watch this game at home? Well, it's big home field advantage for Hawaii. You mentioned it earlier, three straight Hawaii Bowl victories. They're 5-2 and two at home this year. Notre Dame, on the other hand, trying to win its first bowl game since 1993 Ooh. and trying to avoid a second straight losing season. And Charlie Weiss is going to call plays in this bowl game. A lot of good talent for Notre Dame offensively. They're younger guys, but you look at guys like Gold, Tate, Michael Floyd, Armando Allen, but the X factor is Jimmy Clausen, their quarterback. He threw 20 touchdowns this year, also threw 17 interceptions. If he takes better care of the football, I think Notre Dame comes away with the win. They go into the offseason with a winning record, and that makes those conditioning drills in January and February a whole lot easier. Probably the biggest game Notre Dame will ever play on Christmas Eve. Maybe okay. the first game they'll ever play on <laughs> Christmas Eve. All right, Todd McShay has more on what players have a future past this bowl game. Notre Dame has some talent on the offensive side. It's just young talent, and this group struggled down the stretch, especially Jimmy Clausen, a quarterback. The big key here is how this group recovers going on the road to Hawaii in the bowl game against an underrated Hawaii defense. David Vekune is a name to know. His defensive end, he is going to be a late round pick, I think, because of his pass rushing skills. He will affect the offense for Notre Dame. Also watch out for Solomon Elamimian at the linebacker spot and Adam Leonard, who plays a strong safety outside linebacker hybrid position. The sad state of affairs here, though, Notre Dame's best senior prospect is David Bruton, the safety, and he will not get drafted before the fourth round. That is the reason Notre Dame's struggling. Not enough experienced talent on the field.